What's up guys, this is Jay from the Columbia Watch Society and today I'm gonna to do a quick review of the Mission 2 Scout. Um, a micro brand, uh, Mission Watch Company out of Canada produced this watch. This is the second, their second release. Their first was the Mission 1. Um, that was a small quantity uh, production of uh, 300 pieces. They sold out that watch and so they've now um, owned to this one. Um, this is just a traditional field watch is what I would call it. Um, so the specs, it is a 40 millimeter case size. The lug to lug is 20 millimeters. The case thickness is 11.6 millimeter. Case is constructed with 316L stainless steel. Um, you have a mineral, a mineral glass, excuse me, crystal. Um, which I know a lot of people will probably um, prefer sapphire crystal. I, I've got watches with mineral crystal and sapphire crystal. Um, a lot of the Seiko watches, divers that I wear quite frequently have the mineral crystal. Um, they do scratch a little bit easier. Um, I've worn this hard over the last couple of months, no scratches, and I wear you know the Seikos all the time and um, they don't look bad. So no, no real concern with the crystal. Um, this does have a water resistance to five atmospheres. Um, on the uh, the crown is signed with the um, M2 for Mission Two. I really like how they've um, they've put the M2 as as really your your logo. Just such a minimalist dial. Um, their first release actually had Mission um, stamped across the top of the dial. So I, I like that. I thought that look was aesthetically pleasing, but this is just a um, just very minimalist design, uh, which is what you know I personally would want in a field watch, um, which is why I picked this one up. Um, the movement in this watch is a Miyota two zero three five. It is a Japanese quartz. I have had several other watches with this movement. Um, a Vair field watch, V-A-E-R, had the movement, had no issues with it. Keeps really accurate time, which you would expect from a quartz watch. Um, does take a battery, obviously. Um, I've had that Vair for several years, no issues with the battery. So, I mean, you just get to put a, book, a good battery in it. Even if you had to replace it, as long as you replace it with a good battery, you're talking several years uh, at a minimum um, with the battery life. So, um, no problems there. It, on, on to the dial, um, you have the, I call it like the railroad track, um, basically on that chapter ring around the outside edge of the dial. Um, I, I think that's a really cool look. Um, I like it. You do have um, loom on the hands, the sword hands. You've got loom at the three, six, nine, and 12 position, and it, uh, basically all the the hour markers are loom. The numbers are not. And I'll give a loom shot here at the end of the video. So if, if that's what you're interested, just hang around to the end um, and I'll, I'll show you the loom. The loom's, the loom's pretty good. Um, I have no complaints with the loom. Um, really like the font numbers, especially on this one. Just a, um, like a standard aerial font. Um, nothing fancy. I particularly like the the seven. Um, I always look for the seven for some reason. Um, I just think it's cool. So I'm going to um, take this strap off so you can get a look at the, uh, well actually before I take the strap off, I'm going to go ahead and put it on because um, the tight, the strap is kind of tight on the lug. So it's, uh, it, it will slide on and off, but once I get it off, I don't want to put it back on. So I'll give you a look on the wrist. Um, before I take the strap off. So here it is on the wrist. Um, really clean look. I'm digging it on the NATO. Um, and while I'm here talking about the NATO, NATO, it is a um, higher quality NATO. This is, it's got some thickness to it. Um, so you do have that tight spacing between your spring bar and the case, which um, you, you it'll slide on and off and I'm about to take it off. It's no problem. Um, but it's not, uh, it's not just sliding on with ease and ha you have no gap there, so you don't get any movement at all. Um, it's a relatively short strap, if you can see. I have not trimmed it or anything, and it, um, I've got maybe a seven inch wrist. 
um, give or take, and there's no flap to push back like on a traditional NATO that's much longer. So if you have a, a really large wrist, this strap's probably not gonna work for you, and you're gonna wanna replace it, but I um, mean, NATO straps are not very expensive. You just, I mean, most people would probably have a few of them that they like, and they put them on the, the watch when they get it anyway. Um, but I like how it fits. It's a good snug fit, because I never, I don't particularly like it when I have to fold it back anyway. It's just like all that extra, just not as clean of a look, so I like it. And also you got the, um, it's got some smudges on it, but the uh, buckle there, uh, brushed uh, stainless steel with the M2. So now I will take it off the, um, the strap and give you a look at the case back. And I'm sorry if y'all hear some background noise that is my kids. It's a rain day, they're stuck inside. So I'm trying to keep them entertained and myself at the same time here. Um, so here is the back. You got Mission Watch Company etched in the case back. Um, just continue with that minimalist theme, like not overdone, just um, just the basics there. Uh, and you've got this Latin, I'm not even, with my Southern draw, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that um, because I'm sure there's gonna be some jerk that's watching this that'll just light me up in the comments um, if I do. So um, you can read it there. It means love conquers all. Um, Kind of cool, uh, especially in this day and time where um, the world seems to be uh, going a bit nuts. Um, so we could all use a little bit of extra love and give a little bit of extra love uh, in our life. So that's just a, a constant reminder there that you're going to keep close to you. Um, so um, I go back to the case. I didn't talk about it. You got brushing uh, on the steel. You do have some polishing um, here um, in the small area there before you um, get to your dial. So it's a nice combination between brushing and polishing. Really cool when the light hits it. Um, so um, I, yeah, I have been, I've been very pleased with the watch. I, I really dig feel watches anyway. Um, I don't typically, I mean, I wear, um, I wear a suit to work a lot and just nicer clothes and I, I don't typically wear a watch like this to work, but when I get home, um, I wear my Rolex Submariner a lot to work. And um, when I get home, I, I tend to gravitate to these type watches just cause they're fun and I can just go beat around and um, do stuff with the kids and go hiking and camping and all that fun stuff. And this, this is just the kind of watch that I usually enjoy for that. Um, what else am I missing? Um, I guess cost, 199 us is what this will cost shipped to your door it does come from canada um when uh when it was um shipped uh peter uh personally emailed me and said hey it may you know the mail's crazy i mean i had uh ordered something from like a 45 minutes away um like two weeks ago and still hadn't got here so the mail is just going a little nuts lately um i got it in a week which um you know it's just, <laughs> It's just one of those things. Um, the mail is just not um, not as predictable as it may have used to be, COVID or whatever's going on. But uh, anyway, it took less than a week to get from Canada. Um, some may experience a little bit longer um, since it is coming from Canada and there's a little bit more stuff that actually has to happen, but um, I didn't have any problem getting it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I can, uh, one thing, I will also talk about is a rubber strap. This does not come with the um, the Scout when you purchase it. This is something they uh, offer on their website. It is a rubber strap, and look in here, note, so I can tell you what this is. This is a floor elastomer. I'm not gonna even try to explain what that is, but that is a, um, it's basically a, a very high quality man-made rubber. Um, so this is a rubber strap and I have a lot of rubber straps. Um, I've got some that I paid, you know, 10, 12, 15 bucks for uh, in different colors because I'm a strap crazy at times. I love switching them out and I'll have um, 
rubber straps that cost in the two to three hundred dollar range uh specifically made by rubber b for um rolex watch and this rubber here really reminds me a lot of that rubber they use on the rubber b like this is a high quality rubber this is not cheap it's going to last a long time um, it feels great it's soft um just this is 60 bucks on their website it's got the um signed with the mission logo here um if you're looking for a rubber strap like and you want to uh drop some coin but not too much and you want something that's going to last a really long time like this is this is something that you should really give a um give a look at i, I have worn the mission to on this rubber probably more than the nato uh, and will as it's getting warmer and i'll be in and out of the water the lake and the pool and things and i like the rubber for those activities so i'm going to wear this a lot here in the next coming months since it is uh we are getting warm here in south carolina and it's just going to get warmer as we approach summer so yeah 59 bucks on the website um so this whole thing 260 bucks shipped to you um, it's not bad for what you get and you're supporting a really cool small micro brand um, I really dig that I like supporting people that um, that do that just like watches like I do I'm a little bit of a watch fanatic like probably many of you that are have hung on for 11 minutes and some change here for this video um, didn't anticipate going this long but um, I love talking about this stuff so anyway, if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I will get back to you probably within a few hours. Uh, if it's in the middle of the night, probably the next morning. Um, I'm very quick to respond. Uh, check these out, guys out on their website, uh, missionwatchco.com. They're on Instagram. Um, Peter and Aaron are on LinkedIn, if that's what you do. Um, um, they're both work in the legal industry, so this is not their really their full-time gig, um, which, again, I appreciate. So uh, just out there hustling, doing what they love, providing entertainment, hopefully making a little bit of money on the side with it, um, like we all would love to do. So anyway, again, please subscribe. Um, if you've hung around this long, I doubt many of you have. Um, please subscribe to the page if you like this kind of content. Check us out on Instagram. We're on Facebook as well. Um, would really appreciate the support. And let me know what you think about the watch. Um, pros, cons, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I don't really see anything ugly. I mean, if I were to improve it, um, May would add the Sapphire Crystal. I really like the movement, the quartz movement here. Um, allows you to make this really, uh, really um, just narrow, thin design. Um, so anyway, but tell me what you think. Appreciate it, guys. Um, thanks and y'all have an awesome day.